brought to you by New Jersey Sharing Network. Welcome to Life and Living. I'm Joanna Gagas. You know, every once in a while, I get to introduce you to somebody who's making a huge impact in the world. And I always love those segments. Well, this one, I'm especially excited about because the young man who I'm about to introduce you to is 10 years old. You wouldn't believe it on, based on his story. He is Corey Nieves. He is CEO and head of distribution of Mr. Corey's Cookies. Welcome, Corey. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm great. It's the first time in my life that I've ever introduced someone who's your age who's the CEO of a company. Thank so you. for me, this is a great first. Thank you. <laughs> For you, how did you get to be CEO of your own company? Well, first we started because at first I wanted to buy my mom a car at first, and after that, we incorporated the business of the LLC Corporation in 2012. So hold on, you wanted to buy your mom a car? Yes, and so, then they actually did it for college. Okay, yes, so and you, you ha and then you wanted to see it for college? Yep, and then we became a legal company in 2012, and business started booming, um, a lot of publicity and uh, a lot of Marketing started happening. It's again not very often that ten-year-olds are sitting in this chair talking about marketing. <laughs> Most Thank kids you. don't even know what that means. They think it means going to the store. <laughs> but how did you get the idea to sell cookies? I mean, where did the cookies come well, from? Well, because first we started out with hot chocolate and lemonade, and um, cookies go well with hot chocolate and lemonade yes, all do. through the season. So that's how we started with um, cookies. You developed the recipes? Yes, I developed the recipes with my mom's help. How did you figure out when you finally had it right? Was there a lot of trial and error? Well, there sometimes it was error, sometimes too hard, too crunchy. So we wanted to make a cookie that was soft, crunchy, chewy for all different, for everybody that likes cookies. And we finally made the recipe. I get the feeling you like cookies. Yes, I like and cookies. And you know when they're right. Yes. Right? And you know when they're perfect. Yes. <laughs> so are these right? Are these cookies perfect? Yes, they're great. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about what goes into starting a company. I know you want to buy your mom a car, you decide mm -hmm. to make the cookies. How do you say, okay, we have a really good idea here and I want to spread it out, I want to give it to the world? Well, well, basically it started off because some um, people started doing stories on us and then a lot of uh, TV shows wanted to do stories on me. And then they started going around the world and then people all over the world know me, even in Germany. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you went on the Ellen DeGeneres show yes. recently. That was a great experience for you. She gave mm -hmm. you ten thousand yep. dollars to jumpstart the, the company. She gave you a sign for when you're selling on the side of the road, and she gave you that car yep. that you wanted to buy your mom. Yes. So I'm probably going to give you a handshake. I hope that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> we don't come with a lot of gifts because we're on PBS. <laughs> yes. But what was that experience like for you going on Ellen's show? Well, the Ellen DeGeneres show was amazing. Uh, it was actually a, a God, like my hairs were flying up because <laughs> I was kind of nervous. I was kind of excited. I was like everything. Um, did she surprise you with those gifts? She surprised me. I was so like, you had no wow. idea. I didn't know. I just didn't know at all. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it was a great experience. What happened after that show? I know you grew the company a little bit. Well, what happened? We started getting so many emails. Like our email box started crashing and crashing and crashing. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Then we knew we had to give cookies to people all around the world. But how? The cookie, our cookies can't be shipped because there are no preservatives and no artificial flavoring. So we came up with the idea, cookie dough. And hopefully we're getting ready to start cookie dough launched soon, really soon. Hopefully we'll have the cookie dough launched. So you're going to sell the cookie dough so that people can make the cookies in their own home. Very smart. Again, yes. the marketing strategy. You figure Thank out you. how to get around a major problem and still sell your product. Thank you. Um, so you're a little entrepreneur sitting right here in front of us. Yeah. You've had to fund this. And the $10,000 from Ellen probably didn't cover all of it. Yes. How are you raising the money? Well, we're trying to raise capital by different uh, funding sites. Uh, probably last time we started doing it for a car on GoFundMe, and then Ellen DeGeneres gave us the car. So we closed that down, then we're trying to do it on Kickstarter, working that out. We're trying to get fundings from investors or new investors, yeah. You're still in school? Yes. How do you balance your schoolwork with trying to run a company? When I'm in school, my mom takes over, and when I'm out of school and I'm done with my homework, I come inside, I do work, and I look at the financials, our uh, balance, statement, P&L. You know what all these things mean? Yes. Where do you hope this company goes in the next 10 years, and let's say when you're out of school, out of college? In the next 10 years, okay, let's see. Next five years, 
I see Mr. Gordy's Cookies being a multi-million dollar company. Um, in the next other five years, in 10 years, see it being a multi-billion dollar company. Okay, so you've set the bar really low for yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say that completely kidding, because obviously you see this exploding. Yes. You gonna go to school? Yes. You gonna go to college? Yes. What are you gonna study? Business, um, I wanna study uh, basically business and cooking. And is it true that you love fashion? Yes, I love fashion. I couldn't tell. I mean, you're dressed. We, yes. Of all the guests we've had on the show, you might be the best dressed we've had yet. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so you plan to incorporate the fashion, the, the love for fashion into any of this? Yeah, Mr. Corey's Cookies is not only focusing on cookies. So we're going to brand out to different things. Fashion line, a whole another level. But right now we're focusing on the cookies first, and then we'll brand out. Okay, so realistically, you want to make this a multi-million dollar company. Yes. How are you going to do that? Marketing, marketing, and marketing. The easiest thing to say. It is the easiest thing to say. Probably not the easiest thing to do, but I have no yeah. doubt that you're going to figure out how to do it and how to do it well. Corey Nieves, CEO and Head of Distribution at Mr. Corey's Cookies. You've blown me away. Thank I you. know you've blown our viewers away. Thank and I'm you. confident you're going to blow the world away with these cookies. Thank you. Corey, thank you so much. Hi, I'm Peter Rooney. In 2006, I lost my father to renal disease. He was on the waiting list for a new kidney, but did not receive one in time. Unfortunately, so many like my father have lost their lives while waiting for a life-saving organ. At New Jersey Sharing Network, we're committed to saving and enhancing people's lives through organ and tissue donation and by informing people about this important decision. Because you can make a difference and save a life. Life and Living has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Also brought to you by Virtua, the New Jersey Education Association. And by NJ Best, New Jersey's 529 College Savings Plan.